hello team and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how you can build and deploy applications using aws so the only resources that we'll be using are aws based resources like uh, beanstack then uh, code build and then like code pipeline okay and the schema diagram for the same you can see on the screen so this is the process that we'll be following and the steps involved in this uh, devops process will be first of all we will set up our uh, git repository for that we'll be using github then we will be deploying web app using uh, aws beanstack and then we'll be creating a build project okay so build project will be creating for the building of the application to generate artifacts and finally we will be creating a code pipeline that pipeline will be used for build and deployment of the application okay and final stage will be finalizing the pipeline or triggering it and then testing the application if it is working fine or not okay so all the steps involved and all the links that you need will be in the description so you can follow that also make sure to follow the video to the end so that you can understand it completely and then you can implement it on your system okay also the prerequisites for this is uh, mentioned on the screen that you will be needing a github repository uh, aws uh, account with uh, root access and little bit of devops knowledge okay so with that being said let's get started okay so first of all you can see the screen for the application architecture of the first stage that is uh, like creating a github repository and pushing the source code inside it okay so for that what we need to do okay so what you need to do you need to have first of all a github account okay and you need to open this url this url you can get it from the description of the video so this is a repository of a sample application from aws okay so you need to open this and next what you need to do you need to go on this option which says fork and you need to like uh, expand it and you need to click on new fork okay so what it will do it will create a copy of this repository on your github account okay so you can see basically if i go to my repositories let me open and go to my repositories here you can see same application has been uh, same uh, this whole source code has been cloned on my repository same thing that will be happening once you do the uh, fork option okay so once this is done then we are good to go to next step okay so once the repository is set up next what we need to do is deploy our web app that will be the place where our application will be running so for that what we need to do first of all open your uh, aws account and log into it and go to like this uh, management console okay and then we need to go into the search option and search for elastic beans <coughs> bean stack okay and click on this option elastic bean stack we will open it and using this we will be configuring our web app okay so this page will open and you need to click on create application and here it is asking for an uh, application name so i will just provide the application name as this one devops getting started i will copy this and <coughs> paste it here scroll down and in place of platform we will be using a node.js based application so we will select node.js and rest two of these we will just leave it as it is then here application code we will be uh, setting on a sample application then simply we will click on create application okay now this is going to take a little bit of time because it is going to create a lots of resources for example like ec2 <coughs> instances so whatever resources security groups or whatever is required for the web app to run like properly it will take some time and it will create it once it is created then we will just test it if it is running fine or not okay so if you can see the screen it says this will take a few minutes and you can say it is creating the proper environment for this uh, web app to be running uh, up and running all the time okay so let's wait for some time and let it complete <coughs> you can see it has created a security group and then it has created a like target group then elastic bean uh, okay full environment as three bucket and everything it is creating 
so let me just uh, speed up the video okay so once the bean stack has completed and this environment will be created you can see on the screen uh, these are the things that you'll be seeing okay so the, just to check if everything is running fine or not what you need to do there is a link given here you need to click on it and it will open a, a new page and <coughs> you can see here it says congratulations with clean clear that means that our environment has been set up and now you can proceed to the next step okay okay so next up what we need to do is create build process for application to be able to build and like run test cases and create artifact for the deployment okay so for that what we need to do is that you need to open your aws account like this and go to search bar and in search bar you need to search for code build and the first option you need to click on so <clears throat> we will here uh, we will create the build project here so that it can build the application so you can see this orange option create build project we will click on it and here we need to in place of project name while providing this one this name description will be we will leave it as it is and in place of source which is the place from uh, you need to provide like from where the source code should be fetched so in our case since we have kept our source code on github so we will select it and actually you are able to see this option uh, disconnect from github this is because in your case if you are doing it for the first time you will see one option like connect to github you need to click on it it will open a new browser new browser window there you need to provide your credentials so that it can connect for the uh, <coughs> repositories to be visible okay so since i have connected so it, this is uh, showing the like disconnect from github so we'll select repositories in my github account and now if i go to github repository list it can fetch all the details okay so we'll select this one which is the uh, sample project which we are going to use then we will scroll down and in place of environment we will select manage node operating system will be amazon linux 2 <coughs> runtime will be standard and image will be this one standard 3.0 okay now in place of here uh, service role since we are doing it for the first time so we we'll click on new service role and <coughs> it will create a new service role for this purpose okay then again we will scroll down and in build spec we will select insert build commands and we will switch it to editor and remove all this and we need to paste our own commands so that it can build okay now here i have copied and i will paste it here then again scroll down okay so rest we can just click on click build project we'll click on it and let's see what happens now since it is happening for the first time so it is, might take little bit of time okay so project has been created okay so just to take that everything is running fine what we will do we will start a build and click on start build okay yeah you can see build status it shows in progress <coughs> so we will wait for some time to let it complete and then we can proceed to the next stage to create the build pipelines okay meanwhile this is uh, like in progress what i will do i will go to my repository open the app.js file and make some changes here okay so <clears throat> what i will do I will, <coughs> I will provide a name as devops shack which is the channel name okay and So this changes have have made and we will commit the changes because this is what we are going to see when the application is deployed. So on the deployed application, this is what uh, this is the message which we will we will see. Okay, coming back to the app. So you can see here in build status now it says success. Okay, that means the <coughs> build code build that we configured is running fine and it is able to build the application. Okay, next what we need to do is 
<coughs> create the code pipeline for the deployment process okay so let's do that okay so since we have created the code build okay and now we are our application is able to uh, build and uh, run the test cases and everything next what we need to do is create the code pipeline which will be used for the deployment of application okay so for that what we need to do is go back to amazon go back to amazon home and in search we need to search for code pipeline and the first option that comes for code pipeline open it okay now here <coughs> we need to create a new pipeline okay so i'll click on create pipeline and in place of pipeline name will be providing this one uh, copy this and pipeline then paste it yeah okay then again uh, service role will let it be as new service role because for the first time if you are doing then a new will be created okay then click on next in source we'll select github version 1 and it says connect to github so we'll click on it it will open a browser in new window okay and we need to click on confirm okay so basically like you need to provide the credentials as well so that it can connect to your <coughs> github account and then it can like able to fetch the repository okay now in repository if i click on here you can see it is able to fetch all my, all of my repositories so we'll select the first one and in branch i will select main branch and <coughs> we will select github webhooks webhooks also this is because to completely automate the process we will select github because like whenever we are making any changes or pushing any changes in our repository as soon as that is done then quickly this code pipeline also trigger the pipeline okay that means as uh, <coughs> as as soon as like we are updating the make or updating or making changes in our repository source code the same time our application will be updated with the, those changes okay now i'll click on next and in build provider I will select uh, AWS code build because that is what we have created and region will be letting it as it is project name we will select this one automatically these things will appear because we have created it okay so in project name it came now we will <coughs> keep the build type as single build and click on next then again deploy provider we will be selecting as uh, beanstack elastic beanstack which we have created application name this one environment name this is also created okay then we'll click on next okay so at this point everything is done what we will do click on create pipeline now as i said since these things are being done for the first time so this might take little bit of time okay so we will wait for some time now you can see it says uh, success now the pipeline has created and it started now you can see for the first stage which is source that means it is fetching the source code and creating a local copy so that is in progress okay and <coughs> this is successful now okay coming to next stage which is build stage now it is in progress okay so we will wait for it to complete once this is done then it is uh, it will move to deploy and then the application will be deployed and then we will be able to see the application in browser okay okay <clears throat> the main reason at this point that i used elastic bean stack uh, is because like we do not need to worry about managing the deployment server like uh, resource how much resource needs to be used and all everything will be managed by bean stack we simply need to provide the source code create the code build and create the code pipeline okay once those things are completed then automatically we can simply click uh, with a click of a button we can like deploy deploy our application and make changes <coughs> once this part is completed what i will show you like uh, how whole process becomes completely automated uh, because we have like uh, used uh, github webhooks okay yeah so build process is also successful now now coming to the final stage which is deploy now this part is actually deploying the application using the artifact that may have created in the previous stage
okay so let's wait for some time yeah you can see the artifact it is using the artifact to deploy our application This is like much more easier because like everything is managed by Beanstack and we don't need to do anything. We simply are providing the uh, source code through a repository. Okay. Okay. There is another option available. Create a notification rule for this pipeline so that like uh, if this is getting triggered automatically through webhooks then you will get notification also that application is like a pipeline is successful or something as of now we won't need it because we are doing everything manually at this point okay okay so this is also successful if i click on this thing okay Okay, one second let me go back to the pipelines yeah this pipeline okay so <coughs> inside this uh, elastic bean stack this application you can see there is an URL present. So if I open the URL, it shows the deployed application. So you can see this was the message that we provided inside app.js and <coughs> it is visible here. Now what I need to show you is if I go back to our repository and make some changes here. Okay. For example, if I provide the name as DevOps Shack YouTube channel, commit the changes changes has been committed in our repository now <clears throat> if I go to pipelines you can see a new pipeline just created and you can see last executed just now this is because we have used uh, github uh, webhooks and this is because it is completely automated that means whenever we are making any changes commits or push in our source code pipeline will be triggered and those changes will be reflected in our deployed application okay so let it be and <coughs> once this completes then if we refresh our page deployed application page then we can we can we can be able to see the changes in our application also okay so that will be all for today and i hope this video was quite useful for you okay if it was then i hope you can give it a like so thanks for watching